Today I'm going to show you the best way that I found to seam ripstop, uh, two pieces of ripstop together using your Baby Lock Acclaim serger. I had a challenge this summer. Uh, as I am working from home, as many of us are, I got really tired of working in the same space all the time and I wanted to create a space outdoors where I could work. And I have a really great wrought iron gazebo outside in my yard but it has no covering on it. And I didn't want to have to bring things in all the time. I wanted to have a workspace that I could actually leave in place and go out and work uh, and enjoy myself outside. So I needed to find a fabric that was really weatherproof and ripstop is a great choice. Uh, not only is ripstop, there are some thicknesses of it, which is the one that I got that are waterproof, completely waterproof. Um, it can also be used for so many different things. And uh, not only is it versatile, but it's also quite affordable. However, there's a big problem with it. It's a nightmare to work with. It drives me insane because of all the puckering you get. Even if you're so careful with the needles you're using, the tension you're using, and try everything, it just drives you crazy. So I Put myself on a mission to find the very best way to sew seam ripstop together and also to finish the edges and the first first challenge i had was to just sew just get the two pieces to stay together long enough to be able to even try to sew them together and i tried to um use my machine to baste and even the basting stitches were too tight they puckered i had to clip them every few stitches as you can see here. So I ended up hand sewing the two pieces that I needed to sew together uh, just in order to keep them stable. Clips and needles just kept falling out and not working well. So that was a pain in the butt, but it did work to keep the two sheets of ripstop together. And then I proceeded to try many different methods. And this was the one that worked the best from what I found online, which was using a rolled hem foot on my regular sewing machine. Um, and as you can see here, I got pretty decent results. As you'll see with other videos you can find on YouTube, uh, you can use a rolled hem foot to get a pretty decent hem. Um, however, seaming two pieces together, that became a challenge. So I thought, well, I could use this method to finish the edges even though I get this furry part that doesn't actually um, get caught by the rolled hem foot. It's decent, but still, how am I going to get a nice clean line joining two pieces together? And as you can see, I ended up figuring it out after a lot of work, trials and tribulations, and now you can benefit from what I discovered using a four thread overlock stitch. Uh, on your Baby Lock Acclaim serger. So you want to use that handy card that your machine comes with to set up your uh, machine for that particular stitch. You want to pay really close attention to the stitch width and length. Um, and I'm going to show you here exactly what stitch width and length I used uh, after a couple of trials. Uh, so you can see here from a stitch width perspective, um, I was right at six. Uh, that worked beautifully. And then in terms of stitch length, I set it at three. And you're going to see the beautiful results that I was able to achieve. But in addition to using that particular uh, stitch setup, I used this great foot. Uh, this actually came with my machine, and just like you use different Teflon or plastic feet in your regular sewing machine, there is a Baby Lock Acclaim um, foot for this particular task. Uh, and boy, does it work beautifully with very slippery fabric. So this clear foot wave accessory is well worth every penny. Uh, here I have the machine all set up, ready to go, with the specific foot and I, I tried various foots as you can imagine and this one just worked so beautifully um, I wanted to show you how to hold the fabric in this case because the fabric is so slippery you want to pay special special attention to making sure that you keep it in a straight line you don't want the fabric that is in front of the foot 
to start drifting to the left. As you can see, I'm using my left hand to keep it straight because if you do, the stitches are gonna start getting really loose. Um, so you wanna make sure that you are uh, using your left and your right hand to guide the fabric and to keep it on that very straight tra trajectory. And if you do that, uh, you get this beautiful seam in this super slippery, extremely difficult ripstop fabric. And it's just, it just came out gorgeous. I was so excited when I landed upon this um, particular combination of stitch length and width and the foot. And I, I, I mean, it just, it looks beautiful. It gave me a gorgeous uh, seam. And I had basically given up at this point and, um, I'm so glad that I kept trying and that I can share this with you so that if you are looking for the best way to sew ripstop fabric, two pieces of ripstop together, you can see that you can in fact use a serger. Yes, in my case, I have this baby lock acclaim, um, but you can, I, uh, it is, I will say that the one advantage of this machine is that it has the automatic tension settings. So I don't have to set the tension. So you would have to play with that, but you can at least see using a plastic or Teflon foot on your serger uh, with the stitch length and width that I'm using. Um, you can hopefully get very similar, nice and smooth results as well and just make sure to keep that fabric as it's you're feeding it through keep it nice and straight um, so that you don't get um, your threads hanging off the edges so i just uh, was so in awe of how this worked out i was able to join my two pieces uh, for the roof of my gazebo uh, so that i could protect my gazebo from the weather and the sun and I could sit under it comfortably and work as well as if it rained a little bit I could still stay out stay outside and work a little bit and um, and it looked beautiful with this green fabric and this great finish um, the next thing I did is I wanted to see if I could use the same method to finish the edges because I had curtains or panels and I needed to finish the edges um, and yes, I could have purchased some green thread and it would have completely uh, disappeared. Uh, but I wanted to get it done as, you know, I was, I was anxious. I wanted to go use my gazebo outside. So I used white and it still came out really beautiful. So here you see, I'm not seaming two, two pieces of ripstop together. I just want to finish the edges in a really clean, easy way. And this method worked so beautifully. It gave me really straight edges. Obviously, using the serger uh, kept it straight and, and cut off any excess uh, and gave me this beautiful, beautiful finish to all four edges of each curtain panel that I used uh, for this project. And I just hope that you have as much success as, as I do as I did with this particular project. Here, I just wanted to show you a different angle for how to feed it because it's so important. You can have all of the settings set up perfectly, um, but if you're not really using both hands, you see how it tends to slip off and to the left off of the plate of uh, the, the sewing surface? You really have to pay a lot of attention, uh, make sure that you are keeping it nice and even with both hands and going slow if you need to. Now I'm going super fast so that you can see that you can feed it through really fast and as long as you're being careful and using both of your hands to, to keep it straight, you can go really fast, so fast that my camera is vibrating. Um, but it ended up being not only beautiful, a beautiful way to edge the ripstop, it also was really fast and easy. So um, definitely a fantastic way uh, to overcome this challenge. So here you can see how it just slow, so quickly and easily makes the edging beautiful, taking off all of those rough edges in one go. So if you enjoyed this video, if this was useful information to you, please do uh, subscribe so that you won't miss out on any future videos that I post 
uh, about the great uses of a baby lock acclaimed serger. Thanks. <laughs>